What's good, y'all? El Famous, living my life, not thinking about it twice. Don't be scared to like, subscribe, or share. It's dope content if you like it. Let's get it. Yeah, let's get it. And oh, yeah, don't be scared to hit that Cash App up. Cash App up. You know what I'm saying? Infamous Larry, you heard? Don't be scared to hit that Cash App up. Yeah, man. Yo, this joint right here is about the guy that lost his life on the train. You know what I'm saying? It got choked out a couple of weeks ago by the white Marine dude. You know what I'm saying? Now, the, the case is about to go to the grand jury. The DA is about to present the case to the grand jury. And everybody know the grand jury is looking to indict. We are looking, we're looking to hear an indictment in this case. You understand what I'm saying? Because this dude, you know what I'm saying? Not only did he choke a man out, but he, the police let this man walk away. You know what I'm saying? They, the police won't even let me walk away if I hop the train. If I hop the train, the police won't even let me walk away. But the police will let him walk away from a murder. The police will let him walk away from a murder. You know what I'm saying? And then look, he turns himself in 11 days later. When he turns himself in, all of a sudden it's an outcry. It's all these donations. You understand what I'm saying? He needed money for a lawyer. So guess what they did, y'all? Guess what they did, y'all? They raised up to $3 million for this dude, man. $3 million for this dude defense. You heard? Now, you don't tell me that this ain't a racist society, B. You tell me that this ain't a racist system, B. Who the hell gave that man all that money? You know what I'm saying? Who gave that man all that money? Politicians, regular people, you heard? Hardworking people. Who gave that man all that money? Who put up $3 million to that man defense? For that man killing a homeless man that was begging for food. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Here it is, you got a man on the train. He's not the only one. It's a it's hundreds of people on that train begging for food, going through mental illness. You heard? He's not the only one. He's on the train begging for food, begging for something to eat. You heard? Then you got this white man. Yeah, this white man. Jump up. Throw him in the headlock. The dude is a Marine, so he know what the head, his headlock could do. You understand what I'm saying? So imagine somebody throwing you in the headlock. When somebody throws you in the headlock, what's the first thing you do? You go like this. You go like this. To stop them from choking you. From top, stop them from stopping your breathing. You heard? That man was choking that man to death. He was choking that man to death and other people was holding his hands and trying to hold his arms. That man was already hungry so he couldn't have that much strength. You heard? If he's on the train begging for food, for money, it's obvious he ain't had no, he, ain't, he, he didn't have no strength, man. You could see why he's on the floor. He ain't got no strength, man. You don't got no strength when somebody got your neck and other people is holding your arms. You don't have no strength and you're hungry. This man was a straight up bum. He was a homeless man, you heard? This man jumped on his dude's neck, put a grip on his neck, choked him out, then jumped up and just put out a video because his case is about to go to the grand jury. And he just put out a video through his lawyer saying that this man um, the guy that died said that he's ready to die. The guy that died said that he's ready to go to jail. The guy that died said that he's ready to kill anybody on that train. Like, come on, man. Are you serious, man? Are you serious, man? You saying everything that the lawyers told you to say. You heard? And you putting it out there to all these news outlets. So now all the news outlets is reporting his, his, his statement. They doubling down on him killing a black man over nothing. They trying, to, they trying to use, everybody knows the homeless problem in the city is off the wall. Everybody knows when you get on them trains, you got people acting out, screaming out, talking out. You heard? But very seldom, do I see a, a homeless person put their hands on somebody? Very seldom. They might scream on the train. They might yell on the train. They might curse on the train. They might be loud on the train. They might even make people feel uneasy on the train. But that's not our job to do something or to, or to, or to, um, to make that man um, um, get off the train. You heard? It's not my job. 
It's not nobody job that get on that train just trying to go to point A to point B job to get that man off the train. That's the police job. The police supposed to be on the train with people that, that running around helping these people, getting these people in the shelters. But they can't even do that because they, they, they accepted mad migrants in the city. They got over 61,000 migrants in the city. So how the hell, how the hell are they gonna take care of the homeless problem that they already got? You know what I'm saying? And since when the homeless guy, the victim, becomes the um, comes the criminal? You heard? This guy is on a train begging for food, begging for something to eat, begging for money. And they turn this shit into he was acting out. He said he was gonna kill people. He said he was gonna hurt people. So why didn't he do it? Why did he lose his life? If he said all this and he was gonna do all this and he was this much of a threat. I'm telling y'all people, man, all around America right now, all that you all that you hear is people getting killed, shot, people of color. You heard? A Spanish brother, a Spanish brother just got killed out of town. You know why he got killed? Because his dog went into the neighbor's yard and he went to try to get his dog out the neighbor's yard and the neighbor killed him, shot him dead. Shot him dead. Spanish brother. White ex-cop nigga shot him dead because his dog went in the neighbor backyard and he tried to retrieve his dog out the neighbor backyard and the and the neighbor shot him dead and the reason why the neighbor shot him dead because the neighbor was an ex-police and the neighbor was prejudiced these people was mexican and this neighbor was white and he's ex-police and he used that situation as a as a as a way to kill a man you heard and justify it oh he was in my yard getting his dog kill that man so you mean to tell me a human life don't don't mean nothing and that's how these people are getting down out here that's how these people are getting riled up this, this black people ain't about shit y'all could kill them niggas man you heard this is what they this is what they showing these people out here they, they promoting vigilante killing out here. They're promoting it, you heard? This dude choked the dude out on the train, a homeless guy, begging for food and all that, you heard? And it show you how America responds to him. America responds to this situation by donating $3 million to this dude fund. I don't even care, all right? If, 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 if this dude was so much in the right, why do y'all need $3 million? Why do he need so much money for his defense? Why do he need any money for his defense? He should be able to beat that with a legal aid. Since the man was erratic and y'all got all these witnesses saying that the man said he was gonna kill people and all that. He was gonna kill them, right? He ain't worried, he ain't scared to go to jail. And he ain't worried about dying. This is what the dude McNeely put out as a video. He's doubling down on killing a man for nothing. You heard? In this racist society, Gave this man $3 million for his defense. $3 million for his defense. This racist society. Here it is, you got a man on the train, begging, homeless, foodless. He don't have no food. He's homeless. He don't have no money. He's, he don't probably don't have no shelter. He's begging on the train. Here you go, a Marine that got everything in the world. You understand what I'm saying? He chokes this man out on the train on camera you heard and when the, when the first thing that happens when you get choked what's the first thing you do you go like this so you can have air that man had that his neck so tight he couldn't even go like this because these dudes is holding his hand so if if if, if y'all if, if 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 dudes is holding his hand while another man is choking him how, did, how, how can he how can he survive? How can he go like this to even put a little break in the, in his airwave so he can have some air? Because everybody knows once you get choked, the first thing you do is go like this, and it gives you a little airway, so the person can't choke you to death. But if the person got your hands like this and they holding your hands down and you can't even go like this, what that tell you? What that show you? What do you see on that video? You see a dude with a tight grip. And you see a white man with his face like this. He got his face like this. He don't got his face regular, like holding him like you just holding a man. He got his face like this. 
And the other guy's just holding his hands down. Holding his hands down. You heard? So don't tell me about that, that they were saving the train and and then and, and, and they was um saving this man from hurting other people, you heard? But then you so easily to get up there and say, oh, well, this man said he was going to kill me. This man said he's ready to die. This man said he's ready to go to jail. So I took it upon myself to throw him in a yoke and, and put him to sleep and kill him, you heard? And then the police just let me leave. You know what I'm saying? If, if a nigga hopped the train, nigga, the police taking you down for warrants and everything else. This man just killed the man on the train and said, yo, and justified it by saying, yo, this man was screaming and yelling, talking about he's going to kill me and this and that. Straight up, man, you a liar, man. Your lawyer, it's obvious your lawyer told you to say that, B. Everything that you said is coming out of a lawyer mouth, man. You heard? That man killed that man for nothing, man killed him for nothing they made sure he out of jail they made sure he's safe you understand what i'm saying because i'm pretty sure his ass go to jail they gonna jump on his ass man they gonna jump on his ass b for real what i say you heard believe what i say they gonna jump on his ass b you know what i'm saying that dude killed the man on camera and he got the whole world behind him you heard because a black man, life don't mean shit to these people out here. You know what I'm saying? This man raised more money than George Floyd family, B. You heard? And all he did was kill a homeless man, B. They rewarding this man for killing a homeless man. So, you know, it's a lot of stuff going on. Kids getting shot in the back for stolen cars. Um, kids getting killed for delivering, dudes getting killed, shot for delivering packages, you know what I'm saying? Um, people getting shot for all kind of stuff. I just told you, man, a Spanish brother got shot and killed because his dog, his, his dog ran into the neighbor's yard and he went to retrieve his dog instead of the neighbor, you know what I'm saying, finding out what's, why he's in his yard. His neighbor, the neighbor shoot first, ask questions later. You heard? Because they know, they feel like they got the law on their side, man. They feel like, like, they feel like, man, life is cheap. Black, brown lives are cheap. You know what I'm saying? We could kill them dudes. We could put them dudes away. You know what I'm saying? We could lie on them dudes. You know what I'm saying? We could, we, we could say that they did this to get them in jail, had them get 50, 60 years. They life don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? We could shoot them down in the street like dogs. They life don't mean nothing. Nobody's gonna care about them. You know what I'm saying? Nobody gonna worry about. They might do a little marching. They might do a little um destroying of some stores and shit. But that's all right. We got all rights to kill these motherfuckers. We got all rights to snuff these motherfuckers out. You heard? We. It don't even matter if it's a woman. Don't even matter if it's a child. Don't even matter if it's a man. We got all rights to do whatever we want to these niggas, B. You know what I'm saying? All rights, man. You heard? So when it comes down to this government, man, and this United States government shit, man, fuck these motherfuckers, man. You heard? And I'm telling all y'all black dudes, man, y'all niggas better go all the way out to the motherfucking end, man. You heard? Because these crackers out here trying to kill you, B. You know what I'm saying? They running around here choking niggas out, carrying guns, killing niggas for nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Killing our kids, locking up our kids, doing all kind of shit to us. And man, they been doing this shit for years to us, man. You know what I'm saying? Putting us in jail for 60, 70 years for 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 small amount of drugs and all kind of shit they've been doing to us, man. You heard? They got people sitting in prison for years being innocent. You heard? They know these motherfuckers ain't do the crime and they still don't care. You heard? So don't, don't don't come to me talking about no white man. Don't come to me talking about no government. Don't come to me talking about being nice and being cool and being good and all that, B. Because at the end of the day, that's all they doing out here is killing us, man. You heard? One by one. Slowly but surely. You heard? And then you got other people that's getting on the motherfucking internet saying, yo, that's good for them. And that's and I'm a Marine. And um, that's right. And this and that. And this, man. Shut the fuck up, man. A lot of y'all dudes out there is out, coward ass motherfuckers, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling y'all people, be on point. Because if you weak, you got any health conditions, you understand what I'm saying? They gonna jump on you, B. They gonna try to kill you, man. They gonna look at you as an individual like, yeah, get rid of this motherfucker. You heard? And that's what's happening out here. Because they not jumping on no big nigga like me. 
they let, they leaving that they leaving dudes like me to the police. You know what I'm saying? They they let, they leaving all the wild and the crazy black motherfuckers and all that. They leaving that for the police to handle. They not they not jumping on they not jumping on no 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 healthy black nigga. You know what I'm saying? They not jumping on no healthy black niggas. I'm telling you.